Hey guys, welcome back to the Professional Weekenders YouTube channel. Today we're here at Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. We're currently in Islands of Adventure. Uh, so we're going to walk around and explore the park today, ride some rides, eat some food, um, and maybe see what we can see with uh, Velocicoaster. I don't know if they're still running uh, pass holder previews, but we'll check it out and see what we can see with it. So come on, let's uh, go explore the park. Hey guys, so I don't think they're doing pass holder previews anymore, but I do think they are in like a soft opening with Velocicoaster, so maybe we will I'll be able to check out that ride today. Uh, we have seen a few other YouTubers, um, you know, uh, I guess recapture their thoughts about it. So maybe we'll be able to get ours too. I will say though, I appreciate really good theming. And I, I think of the two parks here at Universal, uh, I like this entryway the most. It's very intricate, very, um, you know, you can see a lot of cool things here. I always thought the uh, windmill was pretty cool. Must be a busy day here at the park because Green Eggs and Ham uh, is open. Um, it's been we we tried that uh, right after they opened um, from the pandemic. And uh, what were your thoughts on it the last time we had it? Do you remember? Yeah, so I liked it. You I, did? Yeah, you know, I'm a big fan of tater tots. <laughs> tater, you take tater tots, add cheese, and whatever else they put on there. Yeah. I'm all about it. You are? Okay, well maybe we'll uh, get a snack later and try that. Or maybe we'll try something new. I don't know. Just like Sophie, I'm all about it. You're all about it? <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Sophie's our niece. And uh, she's four. And she has plenty of one-liners that we have grown to love and appreciate. <laughs> it is a busy day at the park, you guys. I mean, we're literally in like bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic trying to get over to Jurassic World. So, half your patience today. Alright, heading into Jurassic World, or Jurassic Park rather. I wonder if they're going to ever rebrand this to Jurassic World, if they're going to keep it Jurassic Park. What do you think? Uh, I don't know, probably not. I mean, it would be expensive, right? Yeah. Yeah, maybe they'll put uh, Jurassic World at the next park, at the Epic Park. Well, while Jurassic World is more relevant, um, I think Jurassic Park is probably still more popular. Hmm, good point. Alright, uh, we are walking towards the entrance of Lost Coaster. We were just told it is a 90 minute wait currently to get on. Um, so we are going to see, whoo, there we go. So we're going to see uh, what the queue looks like and I'll do my best to take on some of the uh, uh, camera footage. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we, when we have to put things away. All right guys, so we are in line for the Velocicoaster right now. Very excited about it. Uh, we are going to help people ride it together. We were thinking about doing the Single rider line. So uh, look at that. Oh, it's on that side. Uh, we're thinking about doing the single rider line, but we would be split up. So I think we want to ride it together to, see, to experience the same part of the part of the coaster. So, yeah. What are your thoughts about it? I'm excited. I mean, everyone's saying this is the best and newest. It's the best overall. Uh, you know, roller coaster in all of Orlando right now. Uh, I mean, look at it. We watched this thing. You know, when it was doing you know, its test runs, yeah. it looks insane. Yeah. Uh, and I have uh, I have watched some other videos on yeah. ride alongs yeah on YouTube already. I uh, kind of got an idea of what to look for. Sure. Uh, but yeah, I think it's gonna be a good time. And actually, I was really surprised, at least for me, the way my body type is. I was able to fit in the seat, the desk seat, uh, pretty easily. Uh, I think because it was less about you know some of them are like a shoulder restraints and it's like I'm too tall. Some of them are about you know coming across your, your belly and you know. A little too hefty for that. This one was more about going down on your, on your thighs and yeah. your legs. Yeah. Uh, so if, you have, if you're tall like me, uh, you shouldn't really have a problem. You know, if you're a bit overweight like like me, I think you're going to be alright too as long as you don't have uh, too big of legs. I think so is the issue on this one. Yeah. Uh, we both fit in the test seat, so we're going to check it out. Yeah. So for me, I uh, I carry most of my weight in my hips and in my, in my, in my butt, right? So for me, I always do the test just to make sure... <laughs> just, to, just to be positive about that, that everything's going to be able to, to, to close perfectly. So, uh, yeah, it's super exciting, exciting to be able to ride this today, and it is a hot one. So, uh, hopefully we'll get some shade soon, and hopefully you guys can hear this, because there's so much music playing right now, I'm sure YouTube is going to play it, but hopefully, fingers crossed, you guys can, uh, can hear us just fine. So, worst case scenario, I'll just do a video overlay, or an uh, uh, audio overlay. So, we'll see. Alright, I'm going to have to mute all this because you're definitely not going to be able to hear it. 
Yeah, we look here, we see all of the uh, velociraptors. And then in the back, you definitely see the uh, the roller coaster up at the top hat right there. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to talk all the way over this. <laughs> so you can see the uh, roller coaster come down here. And what was that, four or five raptors, I think? Was it five or four? Four raptors, okay. I mean, it looks it looks so real. It looks so real. Okay, I'm feel in... feel uh, oh yeah, I kind of feel it. Yeah. Oh, all right. Sorry, bro. We'll see you later. Bye. And then that looks like that. This one is out for turning too. I wonder what that one's name is. You want to name it? Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> all right, guys. So we're gonna drop off the camera here now, and uh, we will come back and let you know how it goes. Alright, so here we go. So you are going to tap your pass uh, right here. It is going to give us a locker. Maybe. Try to get a hold of it against it. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we are going to be in that one right there. He's going to slide everything in. And I, I can do mine if you want to. Okay, there we go. Alright, All right, babe. Just got home from Lost Coaster. What are your thoughts? Oh my god, that was so much fun. I don't know when was the last time that we both yelled through the entire thing. I, yeah. I mean, it wasn't forced at all. So it was legitimately having fun. My arms were in the air. You know, I was hanging on for dear life, <laughs> for the usual. My body's zigging, the coaster's zagging. We're up out of the sea, you're upside down for so much of it. And the, uh, some of those rolls, it's like, for sure, you feel like you're going to get tossed out of the thing. <clears throat> so just incredible amounts of fun. Really enjoyed that. We're actually uh, looking to ride it again. It was such a short wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They originally said it was going to be 90 minutes to get in, and then we were able to get in about, like, I would say 35. 30, 35 minutes. Yeah, we were, we were on. Yeah. I think they're trying to discourage people or maybe just set expectations in case they have to shut it down for whatever reason. Yeah. Uh, but definitely, if you're here before and it's, it's running, hop on it regardless of what the wait time is. You're yeah. not going to be disappointed. No, I definitely caught some air time. Uh, I, you caught a lot of air time. I caught a lot of air time. I was hands on the entire time. He was hands up the whole time. So that just shows our different uh, personalities and different styles. Yeah. Um, I will say, even though I was wedged in that seat very tightly and the bar was all the way down, I still caught air time. So yeah. I know he caught air time I too. I was surprised too. I thought I was in there pretty Yeah, I was like, well, I'm an inch out of the seat. Yeah, the I time, felt so. like I was much more than an inch out of the seat. But and yeah, yeah. Well, usually I don't, I don't have my hands up because I'm concerned. I'm, I'm a taller guy. Again, I can reach yeah, right. far. I'll believe that. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm worried I'm going to lose a hand or something. But there was a lot of it was yeah. open air. So I felt no problem at all having my hands up in the air the whole time. Yeah. Oh, that second, the second takeoff was insane. It's intense. That yeah. first one was good enough, but then yeah. the second one you really get going and you go right up to the, the top the hat. Top hat. Mm -hmm. And you know we were kind of towards the front, so we kind of got a lot of time up yeah. at the top mm -hmm. there to see the whole part. <coughs> kind of anticipation of coming back down. Uh, I've heard that if you ride in the back, you kind of get whipped over it. Yeah. I think regardless wherever you sit, you're going to have a great. It's time. a great ride. Yeah. We we were on row three and. Uh, yeah, so for me, the, the the most intense part was when we were upside down right over the water right before the ride ended. I mean, it was all intense, don't get me wrong, but like, for a second I thought, okay, this is where I take a swim. This is where I end up in the lake. But all in all, it was good. This so. is where I fly off and hit the pole <laughs> or the concrete. Yeah, this is where, this is where we're done. So, uh, yeah, great ride. We're going to check out some merch, and then we're going to probably grab a snack, right? Let's do it. Cool. All right, let's go. <laughs> Alright guys, so here we have a Let Em Live, Let Em Roam shirt. Uh, they were here first from Universal Studios. And this one is $27. It's actually a nice light t-shirt. I kind of like that one. It's pretty soft too. And then here we have uh, some actual VelociCoaster t-shirts. Uh, must go faster. Uh, this one is uh, $25. Um, maybe not as soft as the uh, one we just saw over there but definitely a high quality t-shirt. We have a tank top here, uh, which just says Velocicoaster, talks about a couple G's, things like that. And the tank top is $27 as well. Um, of the two, I think I like the quality of the t-shirt a little bit better, but it is black, so you know, make sure you're not wearing it in the summer because you might melt. 
then um, as you walk in, we do have the uh, Velocicoaster uh, mug, and this one retails for $15. Uh, just your average size type mug. But the theming in here is super cool. So there you see uh, a Velociraptor. As you walk around, you see some Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh, I don't, I don't think, I think these are replicas. I don't think they're actually fossils. I, I could be wrong though, so don't, don't put me on that one. And then over there, you see some more dinosaurs as well. And this one might be my favorite. It says "Keep Your Distance," and the uh, <laughs> T-Rex on there does not look like he's a happy camper. So I, I feel ya. And this one retails for twenty-five dollars. Uh, good quality T-shirt. Um, uh, I would say it's probably between the um, black T-shirt we saw there for the Wasp coaster, and then the green T-shirt that we saw originally. A little bit thicker, but definitely light. I have somehow managed to lose my husband, so have to find Lewis. I don't know where he went. Um, but here in the Discovery Center, there are some more lockers right there that you can pay for. Um, we didn't have to pay for lockers because our things were small enough to not need to be um, <coughs> stored in those. Uh, but we will take a lap around the Discovery Center and see what else we can see here. Uh, just looking behind the camera, I see some eggs and I see some DNA, so let's go check it out. What happened? I got my DNA sequenced into a dinosaur. Okay. What did you find out? They turned me into a dinosaur. What kind of dinosaur? Uh, well, I got to pick my dino profile, my bio profile. Okay. And I selected a carnivore who is strong and solo and, um, yeah. So you're a T-Rex. Basically, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is a T-Rex. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they put my face on a T-Rex. You take a picture of your face, slap on a T-Rex, <laughs> They scan your brain. Hmm. Uh, they, got a pea brain. They take your DNA sample through the palm of your hand. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, it's like it's supposed to be like a little injector, but it's just like air. Yeah. And yeah, they turn you into a dinosaur. Dude, so I want to see a picture of this dinosaur. Did you uh, get a picture of it? No, it's over there. It's over there. Okay. Well. You're over here for merchandise. I'm over there playing. Hmm. That, if nothing else, describes our personalities, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> All right, but I was just telling these guys that um, I see, like I mentioned behind the camera, there are some uh, eggs here. And I know these are probably props from the movie, but they don't say what kind of eggs they are. However, the eggs are on camera. So, probably waiting for them to hatch. Well, if you get the egg, I think you have to buy an egg, maybe, and you put it in the scanner here. And it'll analyze it and tell you what, the, what type of egg. Oh, okay. All right. So yeah, here's how you operate. How to operate the pre-emergent nursery scanner. All right. Well, maybe uh, we will come back here one day and figure out how to do that. That would, that would be kind of a fun activity to do. Yeah, I'm not sure all of this is open. Right yeah. Now. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, the egg into the carrier and start it over. I don't know if you have to buy them or what. It looks like they made some sitting back here too. Uh, but I bet because this is a high touch area, it's probably not open. So well, okay. it's still soft opening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, how about we go uh, grab some lunch? All right, let's do, All right, let's do that. All right, so we are going to head over to Red Cat in the Hat real quick as we wait for our lunch <laughs> lunch reservations. Um, definitely the opposite end of the spectrum from Velocicoaster, but I still think it's a cute ride. Yeah, so. something to do, I guess. Yeah, something to do to, pe to kill some time. So, I do think uh, Seuss Landing has a really good theming too. So, I always kind of wonder though if um, if things were a bit more vibrant when they first opened. I feel like it was. I feel like it's gotten uh, a little. Tell everything looks pretty faded. Yeah, well, it's sort of. What did you expect? Right. Well, but just, like it would have been better if it was all. Yeah. Refreshed. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Because if you can get like the cat in the hat, the cat in the hat hat, uh, red is a little kind of faded too. So, all right, let's go see if we can find our uh, cat in the hat. Unfortunately, at Universal, you cannot film on any of the rides here, so I'm not gonna be able to bring you guys with us. I don't think I'd let that cat in the hat come to our house. <laughs> could you imagine what, what Liberty and Justice would be like? Yeah, had, uh, oh, I don't know, Liberty might enjoy it. <laughs> She probably enjoyed too much of that. I'm sure Justice will run in the hide. <laughs> All right, so let's check out some merch here. Um, so they have the thing one and thing two. Oh, so we have th thing one, two, three, and four. Okay, so these sweatshirts are, let's see, uh, 52 bucks. Yeah, they do have um, these these same shirts like knockoffs mm -hmm. at a lot of the gift shops around Florida. I'm sure, sure. They're much cheaper. It's not 
I'm watch sure Amazon them. has them too. But of course, I think you're going to get better quality here at the park. Yeah, and I don't think it's going to say, you know, Universal Studios on it. I think it was with the, the Thing 1 or Thing 2. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. But you'll see whole families with like Thing 8, 9, or mm -hmm. 11. <laughs> they even have some branded uh, milk chocolate with jelly beans. Yeah, I was going to get it until I saw the jelly beans. Yeah. I don't know, should we do it for science? I don't like jelly beans. I don't like jelly beans either. Okay. Alright, well. So. Um, it doesn't say how much they are. Oh. I'm sure they can be more than a couple blocks. Oh, assorted candy bars, uh, $2.95. So. You're gonna throw away $3. <laughs> I don't think so. Alright, guys, we're gonna grab some lunch at uh, Confisco Grill. Confisco? Confisco? I don't know, you tell me. How do you pronounce that? Confisco. Confisco? Alright. Uh, like I said, never asked me. I, <laughs> I know. Terrible it's reading, writing, spelling. That's why I ask you because sometimes yeah. it's funny. Ask me a math and science question. Okay. Alright, guys, so it is a little loud in here, but we just scanned uh, the menu with the QR code. Uh, they gave us, I guess, one plate for appetizers and two uh, rolls of silverware, and then uh, we will scan, or we'll scroll through here and see what options we have for lunch. And yeah, so things look pretty good here. Caesar salad, uh, udon noodle bowls, sticky ribs, pad thai. Wow, all right. Plenty of sandwiches and non alcoholic drinks. All right, honey, how is lunch so far? Just at the table, what did you get? The penny ala vodka? Yeah, penny yeah. ala vodka. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. I got the uh, chicken sandwich and uh, a side salad, and I guess we're going to share my fries, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll check in later. All right, honey, what do you think of lunch? Uh, yeah, so it was pretty good. I liked, uh, liked my pasta. It had a lot of garlic in it and a lot of olives, mm -hmm. so very flavorful. Um, what do you think of your sandwich? Uh, my sandwich was okay. It was, I, I mean, I would get it again, uh, but I think I might try some of the appetizers for lunch instead next time. Yeah, um, we did see the appetizers being delivered to other tables. There like a number of people at that table who probably just ordered appetizers for their lunch yeah. and dinner. They were pretty big, too. Yeah, the nacho plate was huge. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe that's the way to go. The nachos and the, um, the chicken look really good. Yeah. The chicken wings. Okay. Uh, but yeah, not too bad. At least the, the price wasn't too bad with our annual pass it was like 35 bucks yep. plus tip yeah not bad for a lunch at the theme park you know yeah yeah we spent close to that at fast food sometimes mm, yeah <laughs> okay uh so now we're to uh well we're gonna go wander on down this way i guess and see if uh maybe Poseidon's theory is open okay. i'm not sure if it is but it's a show that we've never seen all right let's go check on out all right guys so we're leaving seuss landing and we're heading over uh, into the lost continent to go check out Poseidon's Fury, and maybe the next time we come here, I'll get us a reservation for Mythos. Well, uh, I'll see if we can eat there next time. All right, we are going to check out Poseidon's Fury. We haven't been on this attraction before, so we will uh, let you know our thoughts about it as we go go through it. All right, just kidding. The temple is sealed. We uh, can't ride today. Oh dang. Oh well. Uh, maybe next time. Maybe next time. All right, you look bummed. Well, we hadn't. I, don't, I have no idea really what it is. Except yeah. For show. I think it's a water show. Yeah. Yeah. We need to check out. All right. Well, let's figure out what else we're going to go see. Okay. All right. All right, honey. What's the plan? Uh, I think we're going to maybe go ride a water ride. Okay. Which one? Uh, Jurassic Park one. Yeah. Always looks fun. Uh, mm -hmm. We haven't really rode a whole lot of water rides here in a while. Mm -hmm. Uh, I know we rode the Doug and the Do Ride one a couple times. Um, we get soaked though on that one. It's like swampy as you're getting off that thing. We get really soaked on the, uh, like the, the Popeye one. Yeah. But, I don't know, I kind of like the, the raft rides. Okay. Let's see. Alright. It's a great shot of the Hogwarts Castle. Alright guys, we're going to get on River Adventure and uh, see maybe if we can see some more dinosaurs and see how wet we're going to get. What happened? Yeah, wet, wet, wet. Looks like you peed yourself. <laughs> I'm, I'm barely wet. Oh well, yeah, because I protected you. Oh, okay. You're on the inside. Yeah. 
Is that what happened? Were you my prince charming? Always. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, what are you going to do? Buy that and tell me that you found that on the beach again? I don't think you believe me on that one. We're not. <laughs> but the Megalodon tooth is... Oh, it's a replica anyway, but how much is it? Do you know? Uh, $12, $13. $13, yeah. Alright guys, so here's your pro tip for the day for uh, Universal Studios Islands of Adventure. And you can see the Lost Coaster rolling in the background. So, number one is wait times. Uh, they do tend to post the wait times a little longer. I think especially with the Lost Coaster being on the soft open right now. Uh, like I said, when we got in line, they said 90 minutes, but we actually only waited 35 minutes. Um, I think that's kind of common in most of the rides here. I think they try to tend to uh, under-promise and over-deliver, so that way people aren't upset when they waited longer than the wait time, mm -hmm. uh, and they're more pleasantly surprised when they waited less than the wait time. Uh, so just be aware that the wait times are usually shorter than what they say that they are. Uh, number two is uh, if you're coming to any of the theme parks here in Orlando, it's always a good idea to bring a couple Ziploc bags because you never know when you're going to be super hot and want to jump on one of the water rides like we did towards the end of the day and now we're soaked. But luckily we had our Ziploc bag to put our camera in and you know any other valuables that we didn't want to get wet. So bring a Ziploc bag or some sort of dry bag, reusable dry bag, a really good idea. Your third pro tip today is the lockers. Uh, know that there are free lockers that any of the uh, high intensity rides, uh, they, they are smaller than um, some of the other ones, so the ones they give, you, give to you for free are fairly small, uh, but it's more about height wise. So just as a comparison, this iron flask here barely fits in there. We have to kind of force it in there a little ways, but top to bottom, that's about the, the width of the locker, the height of the locker. Mm -hmm. Now they do go back fairly deep, so mm -hmm. you do have quite a bit of room, and they're a little wider as well. Uh, so they're actually a good size, it's just they kind of limit the height. Mm -hmm. So if you have anything too bulky, it's not going to fit in there and you may have to pay, I think it's like $2 for the larger lockers. Uh, otherwise, save your money and get the free one if you, if you think you can fit in there or if you happen to have uh, two people with annual passes like we do, we could actually have two separate lockers. Yeah. So It's based upon ticket, right? Like yes. Ticket. Per, per ticket gets a locker, so yeah. you, know, you save some money there. Uh, but that's going to do it for us to get here today at uh, Universal Studios, guys. So we're going to head on out of here and we'll see you next weekend. upset about that later. Uh, and number three is, oh, the, <laughs> number three is, mm -hmm. um, that was literally the car behind us. Yeah. <laughs>